Oh. Yeah, it's not all that exciting. Do a lot of body weight stuff, you know. Taking pictures of people working out. Yeah, 45 pound dumbbells. What about, so what are your goals for the next nine weeks? Uh, you know, I think to just, it's, it's good to have, you know, for the first time, um, you know, I think since I've been here, we have everybody coaching-wise coming back. You know, we have a good foundation of players that are coming back. Everybody's been in the system, Nathaniel system for a year. Um, so you, you got a good base of knowledge of everything. So I think uh, just kind of continuing to grow that. Obviously, physically, um, getting in better shape, continuing to do that, continuing to uh, create chemistry with these guys. You know, got a couple new guys to throw to. Um, so building that um, and, you know, constantly growing in the right direction. You said it. Uh, previous offensive schemes, you have to go to the point where you can answer teammates' questions. Are you at that point right now? Yeah, and, and you know, I think that's what's so cool is you know when, when we take the receivers and you know go across the river to high school, or whatever, go throw on our own. Um, you know, I, I know the system. You know, we've been together with Nathaniel for a year now, so it's not learning a new system where I'm out there trying to learn it so that I can then tell the guys, you know, how some of this stuff is supposed to go. Um, you know, I got a really good understanding of it and feel as though you know I can coach and help these guys out. And there's also guys that were here last year um, that are a year now older and into the system, so you know they also uh, can help new guys out as well. So it'll be good, I think. And kind of be able to communicate with each other, um, you know, after being in it for a little bit. Hey, what's yeah, your feel on what Safarian Jenkins is going to bring to this offense? Yeah, I, you get a, a chance to obviously play against him last year and watch him play. Um, you know, I, I think he's an unbelievably talented receiver. You know, I think he can do some good things, um, and you know, I think he can do some good stuff at the point of the attack too in the run game. Uh, so I'm excited, you know, to, to put him on the field um, to kind of create some mismatches with him and get him the ball and, and, and let him go. Now that you're the veteran quarterback in the room, how are you approaching your relationship with uh, Cody? Um, you know, it's kind of funny. We've we've been thrown together in the offseason for a couple of years, you know, so we got a good relationship with each other. We go throw out the same place out in California. Um, and I, I mean, I think he's a year younger than I am, so it's not a huge difference in age, um, you know, but to be able to kind of have a, a relationship already built, you know, when he's coming in, I'm not meeting him trying to form one. You know, we already know each other pretty well, so uh, I think it'll be good. You know, we get along really well, so it'll be fun to be able to work with him and, um, you know, spend time with him kind of grinding and watching film and getting prepared and doing all that. What did you, uh, you get accomplished in California this time? Um, you know, I took some time off, obviously, after the wrist surgery um, and let that heal and then just kind of went out there and kind of fine-tuned some things. You know, felt as though um, kind of different than last offseason where it was kind of like a mechanical just overhaul of trying to tighten things up and, and fix all that. Um, you know, for the most part, it was kind of let, let's figure out some little tweaks and things, see if we can mess with some different footworks for timing and stuff like that. Um, but it's just, you know, more about just getting back in the rhythm of throwing the ball and, and doing all that. Now that the team has acquired the uh... – you know, kind of a, almost a bell cow type lineman. Is there a part of you that just is really privately wishing strongly get another weapon in the draft? Yeah, you know, I think um, what they've done, you know, it, with free agency and bringing Andrew in, um, you know, bringing Austin in, you know, I, I think that definitely really helps us up front. It's going to continue to build our running game, which is, you know, what we want to do and what we want to be able to do. You know, I look forward to watching Andrew pull and, and lead Leonard down the field. I think that'll be pretty awesome. Um, but I, I'm really happy with the guys that we have, you know, with the guys that we have in our locker room that are going to go out and run routes and catch balls for us. Um, you know, I feel as though we can go win and be extremely successful with those guys today. So I think anything we add through the draft or whatever is just, a, you know, Know, kind of a bonus. Was it easier on you mentally going into this off season? You know, I get, I mean, loss notwithstanding, but with some success, you know, under underneath your belt instead of like last year when you had to go in to totally reduce stuff. Did right. that help with you mentally? Yeah, or? definitely. And I, you know, I think there was for the first time, you know, since I've been here, there was proof that what we had done worked. You know, there was a bit of, um, you know, kind of hard concrete evidence. Obviously, we didn't get to where we wanted to go or finish where we wanted to. Um, but there was some proof that, you know, this, you know, the process and the plan that we took and went through last year, you know, benefited us and turned out to work, you know, pretty well. So I think feeling comfortable with that going into the offseason and also, like you said, the whole mechanical stuff, not really having to worry um, about changing a lot of things, you know, felt good. The wrist was fine. Did that take yeah. you back in terms of the amount of throwing you wanted to do significantly or you feel no, pretty good? Um, yeah, I took six weeks off, I think, and then started throwing and, you know, it's probably close to what I would have done anyway if, you know, I didn't have to get surgery, so it wasn't a big deal. Talked a lot last year about how good the chemistry was in the locker room. Any concern when you lose some key pieces? 
You know, I, I think, you know, obviously losing Sadie's and, you know, offensively Hearns and A-Rob and those guys, you know, all guys that, that were huge in the locker room and good on the football field and everybody loved. Um, but, you know, I think what we created last year and uh, with some of the young guys with D.D. and Keelan stepping up and playing the way they played and Mickens getting in and doing what he did, um, you know, I think we were able to kind of pick up where we left off. You know, I, I think um, Marquise being the leader in that room now is awesome. I think he'll do a great job with that. And, and those guys are a year older. So I think, you know, we're, we're, not, we're not missing any steps or, or, you know, taking a step back or anything. How long did the New England loss linger with you, and is there still even a tiny hangover? Yeah, um, yeah, it's tough. You know, we were just in a quarterback meeting, and you know, Nathaniel put up a thing. You know, talking about the goal here is, you know, we want to get to the Super Bowl, and the first thing he puts up is, you know, the scoreboard. It's like five minutes left, we're up three. You know, in Foxborough, and it's kind of like, man, you know, that sucks. Like, I can't believe we blew that. And um, so, I, I think, you know, that'll probably not always be in the back of our minds. Um, you know, so that we feel we missed that opportunity to go, you know, play for a Super Bowl. But, um, you know, I think it just gives us that mo- much more motivation to get there again and go win it. Does, does, you know, you leaned on Chad as a rookie all the way through. Does it, does it feel like you're prepared to really lead that room? Yeah, I think so. You know, Chad was incredible for me for four years, um, you know, to come in and have a guy like that in the room to be able to, um, you know, he had no agenda. He had no um, no problem taking the role that he took on and helping me um, and helping really everybody as much as he possibly could. So I, I think being around him was one of the best things that's, you know, that's ever happened to me. Um, and it's definitely, you know, a transition from being the guy that's kind of the understudy. You're playing, but there's a guy in the room that knows more than you do. Um, and you're kind of constantly asking questions just because, you know, he's been around for a long time and seen a lot of football. Um, you know, and, and I, I think it's obviously a never ending process of learning football and seeing everything. But, um, you know, I feel comfortable with, with, you know, what I know mentally and continuing to grow and learn more. Um, but I, I think, yeah, happy with that and, um, you know, happy with the situation in that room. What do you think about the uh, safety measures? What is this offseason like that? Help get through? What, what's your thoughts about that? Um, you know, I think they're, you know, obviously it's not a huge impact on me, but, um, you know, they're doing everything they can um, to make it as safe as possible, you know, and I, I kind of see both sides of the argument. You know, there's old school guys that, you know, view it as kind of making the game soft and changing all that. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, if you can do it the right way, hit guys as hard as you possibly can the right way, uh, you know, I think that kind of benefits everybody. You know, it kind of keeps the whole game intact and um, keeps everybody safe as well. So I, I think it'll be a challenge. It'll be interesting to see, you know, how that's officiated and how, you know, those things are kind of implemented. You know, this was a team that led the league in rushing attempts last year. That's what you wanted to be. But do you anticipate with the receivers being a year older that you will be able to be more aggressive? Yeah, definitely. And, you know, adding Andrew up front, you know, is only going to allow us to be more effective in the run game, which is only going to open up, you know, more stuff with the play action and down the field and doing things like that. Um, you know, and like you said, with D.D. and Keelan being in it for a year and having an understanding of the things we want to get done, um, you know, an understanding of kind of the intricacies of each route, um, I, I think everything kind of only grows from, from there. Did you allow yourself to appreciate the contract? Um, or did you get right back to work and say, hey, this is what I did to accomplish that? Yeah, no. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I got a weird way of viewing it. I mean, it, it was more so cool for me um, to be able to come back here and play a couple more years, get, you know, for, for sure, right? To have a little bit of security that, you know, I'm going to be the quarterback in Jacksonville next year or at least get an opportunity day one to be the starter. And, you know, everything else is kind of up to me. But, um, I mean, that was kind of what I was excited for, that I was going to be able to come back here, play here, um, be with the guys in this locker room and continue to play for this team. How much do you pay attention to the draft? And uh, will this year be any different than you later? You know, it's kind of funny. Like each year, and I don't know I, I don't know how everybody is, but you get further and further away from it, I think, each year. I know I do. And it's, it's kind of like, you know, guys get drafted. And it's such a cool process for everybody that goes through that. But it's, you know, I know less and less about it every single year. So um, I'll definitely, you know, I'll always pay attention to what happens. You know, it's always interesting. As a quarterback, you know, you always pay attention to when quarterbacks go. And then obviously always uh, cool to see what we do and who we choose and what direction we go. So. When you look back on the postseason, is there anything that you, in your own mind, that you felt like you did differently to, to go through three, three postseason games without turnover? Because it's 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 quite, uh, you know, it's not not something that's done very often. Yeah, uh, you know, I think it was. Um... It just, you know, a locked in focus, which, you know, really should happen every single week throughout the season. But, you know, there's so much um, there's so much extra that goes into it. And there's so much more on the line when you're in the playoffs. 
Um, and, and I think, you know, obviously you want to be able to take that mindset to all 16 games during the season and, and make it a normal thing. Um, but, you know, it was uh, – uh, I didn't want to go out there. You know, we talk about all the time, if I don't throw an interception, we got a really good chance to win a football game with the way we run the ball and the way our defense plays. Um, so I didn't want to go through any of those games and end our season because of, of a turnover or a bad decision that I made. I wanted to make sure we had a chance to, to win and be successful. Last one, John. Do you feel a major difference coming back this year? I mean, it's a different team – more success for you person. Do you feel differently coming back than you ever thought? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, you know, I, I think as far as just the bar has been raised, you know, the expectations are different. Um, coming in years past, you know, even coming into last year after the previous year, we won uh, three games or whatever we won, you know, with, with Coughlin and Coach Marone coming in, you know, the expectations had changed, but it was kind of like, you know, we still just won three games last year. Like, how good can we possibly be? And to be able to go through the season that we went through last year, um, the camp that we went through, and, and you know, kind of see everything that happened, I think um, I think guys are coming back this year with a totally different attitude and kind of a uh, uh, you know a hunger to, to to reach that final game and go win it. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, guys.